In this video, we will look at the returns on a leveraged portfolio for a fixed income fund. So let's say for a fixed income fund, the present value of the portfolio assets is $350 million. And from this, there is a borrowed fund of $50 million and the borrowing rate is 3%. And the return on the invested funds of $350 million here is uh, 7%. So calculate the return on this leveraged portfolio. So there are two ways how we can calculate that. Uh, I'll go from the first way. So for the first method, the return on this leverage portfolio will be based on the value of the assets multiplied by the return on the assets. Then we minus the cost of borrowing. So we'll take the borrowing amount and then we'll multiply by the cost of the borrowing and then we'll divide by the equity value. Okay, and the uh, portfolio equity here is based on the amount of assets minus the borrowing amount. So the amount of assets here is $350 million multiplied by the return of 7%. And then we minus the borrowing amount, which is $50 million, and the borrowing cost is 3%. And the equity amount, which is the amount contributed by the fund itself, is 350 minus 50. That's 300. So if we were to calculate this, we will get about 7.67% return, which is higher than the return on the invested funds. This is what you will earn if there is no borrowings at all. So the incremental return here from using leverage is 0.67%. Uh, now the other way is to use another formula where we'll take the return on the invested funds plus the amount of borrowing over the equity amount and then we'll multiply by the spread in the return of the funds minus the return on the cost of borrowing. So we'll take 7% plus the borrowing amount, which is 50, over the equity amount, which is 300. Okay, then we multiply by 7% minus 3%. So in this case, uh, if we calculate the second term here, we will get 0.67%. Okay, which shows that the incremental return from using leverage is 0.67. And if you add it up, you will get 7.67%. So that's how uh, you can use both methods to calculate the return on the leverage portfolio.